Well, <clears throat> a few decent names um, we've been linked with, and also one reported outgoing. Um, we'll cut it down to size, and I'll give you my thoughts on the recent links and the reported outgoing player. Um, but let's start off with Brighton and Hove Albion, um, and I would bugger that one up. I'll bugger that one bit up, though. Um, Connor Goldson is reportedly set to sign a four-year deal with Rangers, I believe. Now, bear in mind, I thought maybe he would need an extensive medical, obviously because of his heart. He had heart surgery. Um, and judging by tweets from the Brighton fans, who I've got a lot of respect for, they have praised uh, they have praised Connor Goldson so much. The Brighton fans have actually posted farewell tweets, farewell messages to Connor Goldson. So that gives us that begs the question: Is Connor Goldson being announced today? Is he going to sign today? Because if you remember right, I, I put a tweet up last night saying, "Is he going to sign? To the, is he going to sign on Tuesday?" Because I'm not going to lie to you. <coughs> Initially, I thought maybe, judging by the reports I heard that um, he was telling to go uh, medical and extensive medical, maybe I was I was given the impression maybe, maybe it would be a Wednesday, the Wednesday that um he'd be signing, he'd be getting announced, but it looks to be a day early. Um, <coughs> my thoughts on that um. Decent signing. If he's being praised, being talked up by Brighton fans, it just tells you. And they're basically telling us how good Connor Goldson is. Um, I think he'll do a job at Rangers. Um, <coughs> 25 years old, young. I think he's pacey. Um, so you've got Cardoso, So he's young. He's get he can he will ha he can get time to bring his pace up, but he's not fast right now. Bruno Alves only good at headers. Being physical, other than that, he's slow. Um, I think to bring Conor Goldson in, a youngish player, mid twenties, I think that speaks well for our back line. I think, as far as I've, as far as we've all we've all heard, he's very solid. So I think he will do well in that back line. I really do. Um, so that's Conor Goldson done. The second one is a bit of a transfer rumor, which is. I'm not going to lie to you, it's actually starting to build up, it's actually starting to grow legs now. Um, a Croatian defender, a 21 year old Croatian defender, um, I'm, o I'm only going to try and pronounce his name, I'm going to try and pronounce it, I I'm just going to take the piss at myself. Uh, here goes, <coughs> Nikola Katic, um, uh, Katic is... He's a Croatian player playing over the Croatian league with um, Slavin Belupo. Um, I think that's how that's pronounced. Um, 1.7 million for a 21 year old defender. So, so pretty much he is basically. If you're spending 1.7 million, obviously you had Spartak Moscow. Um, and I think they were originally front runners for them. But as far as I'm aware, I don't know if the rumours are true. But apparently, Rangers are on the verge of agreeing a £1.7 million deal with them. Now, 21 years old, £1.7 million. I haven't seen him play. But if that's how much Rangers are to spend on a centre-back, then that 21-year-old Croatian player, he must be good. Especially... If a Russian team like Spartak Moscow are interested in him, would I um, bring him to Rangers? Um, like I said, I haven't seen him play, but judging by the price and the age, I probably would. If I, like I said, if I spend on that kind of money on him, then he must have some potential ahead of him. I think he could learn along, learn from the likes of Alves, if he stays. And that's going to move on to my next, my next um, 
<coughs> I'm going to move on to the next subject. Bruno Alves. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it is looking highly likely that Bruno Alves will indeed be staying at Rangers. After that, por that Portuguese club, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I could not even. I couldn't even give it a try. Um, what am I, what am I looking at? I'm watching YouTube. I'm actually on YouTube watching uh, F2 freestyles. Why? Why not? Um, I that Portuguese club that were interested in signing Alves. It is looking likely that he will be staying at Rangers. Rangers after reports that um. Rangers basically priced him out. Now, I'm surprised at that. As good as a defender he is, as an experienced as a defender he is, 37 years old, 36 years old, 37 years old, one of the two. We bought him for pennies, really. Um. It wasn't a free we got him in, as far as I'm aware. We bought him for pennies. And we are trying to... Basically... Put a decent price on him. If someone wants to... If a club wants to buy him. As, as a good move as it is... It's pretty confusing because... For me... You could only really... Put a good price on him if he's done... If he's impressed in the through the season first half of the season he was good he was okay through the season he dipped downhill after injuries then near the end of the season he started building himself up slowly again so for Rangers to maybe put a increased price on a more improved price on him as good a move as it is it's very confusing why Rangers would do that especially for Someone of Bruno Alves' age, but as far as I'm aware, um, he's to stay at Rangers for the for the for next season. Now, for me, I think Rangers will keep him next season, and I think they'll tend to move him on. We'll keep him for the remaining season he has, and then he'll go. My thoughts on that is probably a good move because there, it's the best thing to do because there's no way that. Increasing the price for Alves' age it makes a lot of sense. So it's probably the best move for Rangers to keep him. Now let's talk about an outgoing player. Now, whether I, I don't, I just saw it this morning. So, but judging by what I've seen, it is looking very likely that Jason Cummings is indeed on his way back to Nottingham Forest. Now, how do I feel about that one? Pretty disappointed really. 22 years old, clinical, uh, not a soul strike, no a solo striker he's a, if he's got, if he's playing a game he's got to play up front with a partner. Um, how do I feel about it? Very disappointed. Um, he had bags of potential just like Morelos, um, both greedy. That's their only downfall. Um, but you could there, are, there could be an argument to say he's had his chance to blow it. For me, he's not had a very fair chance because a certain Rangers coach, you know who I'm talking about, basically wore a. Alfredo Morelos mask. Despite his poor, despite Morelos being poor, kept playing him, and had Jason Cummins consistently on the sidelines. Now, for me, that is that's a downfall nowadays. Favoritism. It's the same goes for the fans as well. Favoritism. I said, the minute Morelos gets a consistency of poor performances, take him off, give Cummins an opportunity. And what happened? He had fans saying, give Morelos time, give Morelos time, he'll get there. Aye, uh, well guess what guys, 
we were a bit, we were a tad too late, and thanks to that, that's probably cost us a good striker. Rangers have reportedly refused to activate that buy, the buying, the clause in the contract to buy him. And all I've got to say is, um, really, Rangers, I'm very disappointed in you. We could have probably got. Aye, he, uh, he's got the swagger, but we all know he's got it in him. If he's played with better players, if he played with decent players, which we've brought in, Arfield, McGregor, Murphy on a permanent deal, um, Ovi Ejaria. I think Cummins could have got a lot better if we kept him. These kind of players we brought in, I think Cummins would have massively improved. I'm disappointed in that move, Rangers. I'm very surprised with you. Um, Usually, you're the one to take opportunities, but for some reason, you decided to let this like, list one slip by. I'm very, I'm disappointed in these Rangers. I really am. And all I'm going to say, all I'm going to say now is, Jason Cummins. Um, if it is to be believed, if, and you're gone, I just want to say, wasn't if you were treated very unfairly by Graham Murty, which was uncalled for. Um, you weren't given the chance. I just want to say thank you very much for your efforts at Rangers. And I would like to see you. And I hope, wish you all the best in your future, Cummins. Thanks for your effort, mate. All the best.